Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my tutorial on how to create a Facebook Messenger bot using Chatfill. Chatfill is a software that has been around for quite some time. And um, what the software helps you do, it helps you in creating bots. But today we'll be looking at how we can create the Facebook Messenger bot without coding using Chatfill. So, the criteria for, for creating uh, the, the Facebook Messenger bot is that you must have a Facebook page. So, if you already have a Facebook page, then head over to chatfield.com as you can see here and hit the login button. Now, you should already be logged into Facebook on the same browser you're using. So, like here. I'm logged into Facebook. This is my account. This is my account. And I just hit the login button. Notice that when I hit the login button, this is what happens. Chatfield tries to connect to my Facebook account. Like I said, you must already be logged in to Facebook from the same browser so it picks my login information and um, tells me to give it access I hit the continue button to get access and it says chat field would like to manage your pages send message from pages you manage and send messages from pages you manage at any time after the user interaction which is where you allow up. for the purpose of this lesson let's just Click on OK to get the next step. Voila! Now, this is what you have on your screen. You're going to have something similar to what I can see here. There are templates, tutorial templates. But yeah, there are other templates you can use. There's a templates, TechCrunch, Publisher. Celebrity templates, there's an e-commerce template, there's a restaurant template. But today we will be looking at this. We want to create our bot from ground up. So we will be hitting the create a blank chatbot button. Now it takes us to a new screen. Now before we go to configuring the uh, messenger bot it is proper you connect it to the Facebook page you want to manage remember I mentioned that you must have a Facebook page running so you could connect the Facebook messenger bots too so let us head over to the top right and hit on this button which says connect to Facebook it's gonna pull up all the Facebook pages you currently manage. We're gonna pull up all the Facebook pages you currently manage. Okay. Now, for today's lesson, I would like to make use of this Facebook page, which is called Better Life. Better Life is one of the pages I currently manage on Facebook. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I've connected. That is why it's telling me published. I've connected it. So, it means any configuration I do here, it means any configuration I do here will reflect on better life. Now, in simple terms, this lesson is not, is not, is not intended to be a long one. So, we'll go quickly, head over to the build segment at the top left. Now, you will notice you have two messages. These things are called blocks anyway. The first one is a welcome message. The second is a default answer. Now, what you do is to simply come here to edit your welcome message. Now, this will be the first message your users get when they interact with your bot. So let us go, come here. Now, what this does, let me explain this quickly. This is kind of an intelligence 
what this does this should double braces the moment you hit it you're going to get a lot of these um variables now what it does is if you pick the first name it tries to personalize the communication from this bot with the person using it so my name is jonathan so when jonathan uh, types the link of this bot and starts interacting with it the bot says hi jonathan okay i, I can say welcome to better life official facebook page we will keep you informed of new developments cheers okay you can decide to do something like this you may decide to do something like this so now notice that here it saves automatically we can head over here to test the chatbot but i would like us to, to do something else let us change the default answer now the default answer we will see how it works but put something so that if a user imputes anything in the text field the person gets this message now the default answer may be something like thanks for stopping by at our page we we'll hope to send you periodic information as it becomes available Now, you can still come here again and personalize it. You can see, I can do this. Thank you. Hit your double braces. And let's take the first name. Thank you, Jonathan, for stopping by at our page. You know. Now, what this uh, personalization does, it makes, now it is saving. It makes your users feel at home. They feel very comfortable. We can head over here to test the chatbot. We can come here to test the chatbot. Um, let's let's carry out this test quickly. View on messenger.com. Okay, it's already popping out, but I want us to see how it looks on the bigger screen. Is that it? That's the message. Hi Jonathan. Welcome to Better Life official page. We will keep you informed of new developments. Cheers. So if I come here and hit Oh, thanks for your message. Or if I type in anything and I hit the send button, I get the default answer. Thank you, Jonathan, for stopping by at our page. Hope to send you periodic information as it becomes a fairly good. There's a, there's a pretty typographical error there. So this is one beauty of the, of the, of the Facebook Messenger bot. Now, there's something called blocks. We'll quickly look at blocks before I end this tutorial. There's a lot to learn here, but in basic terms and simple terms, I just want to show you how you can create a Facebook Messenger bot from ground up without any coding in few minutes. Now let's come here to add blocks. Let us see what blocks do. Now, from your welcome message, you may decide to say, um, you may, you may, you may put a call to action here. Welcome to Better Life. We'll keep you informed of new developments. Let me see. If you will like to <coughs> know a bit more now, click hit the yes button below. Okay. Now, you may decide to come here to add a button. What is the button name? The button name can be called yes. But the button name is yes. You're supposed to link it to a block. Okay, we only have an untitled block here. So that is why we need to come here. We configure this block. 
we can call this block the yes block okay you can call it the yes block or just yes anyhow you want to you, you want to leave it you can call it yes and put something in there it's awesome see you want to know more about what we do here are some more information for you blah 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 you know you can just keep typing and typing and typing <coughs> now you can come here and create a no block let's do something now if you create a no block or create a no block okay um, thanks all the same we hope to hear from you soon again okay you can write chairs personalize it first name okay so see what we have here so let's go back to the welcome message hi first name if you would like to know a bit more now hit the yes button below if not you may click no click the no button now let's come here to add the button let's give it a name the name of the button is yes now we need to link it to a block since we have created two blocks the yes and a no block it becomes easy for us to link it we've linked it and it is saved automatically i hope we get that now we can also come here to add the no block so that somebody who clicks on the no he would easily get the response so guys let's go back to our bot let's go back to our bot let's see what we got remember this was our interaction initially okay um now this is our bot i had to play i had to play the previous message and we're back here so when you click on get started now notice that initially we didn't have these options but because we had added them from here that is why they are now reflecting here so if somebody clicks on a yes the person gets this message if the person clicks on a no the person gets this message and if the person types something here he gets the message from the default answer so in simple terms this is how you can create the facebook messenger bot using chatville without any coding there's a whole lot more setting up artificial intelligence but what i want you to do right now is to go out there head over to chatfield.com and create your bot now on a final note for this lesson you'll notice that here is the link to the bot once you just hover your mouse here the whole link comes out m.me slash the name of the facebook page so you can easily come here to copy it and paste on a browser you can paste this on a browser and it opens up for you so i hope i hope this has been profound for you if you got some value feel free to share with your friends if you got some value feel free to share it with your friends feel free to subscribe to my channel where i'll put out lots of content about social media about network marketing and i'll be doing lots of motivations i hope to see you guys soon do well to hit the subscribe button do well to share this video and go ahead to build your first facebook messenger bot today feel free to put stuff in the comment section below I will do well to respond to you when next I come here. Have a good day and 
see some of the time. Chairs, 